How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Pizzo here. I have some really exciting information to share with you, fam bam, because if you really rely on the internet as you do with your electricity and your water in your house, it is really vital and important that you have a stable internet connection. Not only is your ISP important, but your router is also an essential part to your house, especially when you have multiple devices. If you have more than just one computer, maybe you have laptops, maybe you have tablets, you have smartphones that connect to it, maybe you got kids and they have their own tablets that connect to it, or you have, have guests over where they can also connect to your internet. Maybe you even have a house where it is a smart home where you have a smart thermostat, or even if you have Alexa or Google Home or anything like that, that's going to require a really decent internet connection. And the last thing you want is a failure or a issue when it comes to your internet, especially if you have a bigger home. We're going to talk about great Wi-Fi routers that are out there today, especially we have Wi-Fi 6E, which is a technology that everybody can really take advantage of. I'm going to go over the top five routers out there that you can have for your home. Fam, man, guys, if you're looking for any of these routers that I do mention in this video, make sure you go down in the description box down below as I do have them posted. Also, for everybody out there, this is just to let you know, I am not sponsored by any of these companies that this is just a list which are definitely 100 from what i see are the best routers that are currently out in the market today number five i have the linksys hydro pro mesh it is a wi-fi 6e router so it and it is also tri-band meaning you have a 2.4 gigahertz connection a 5 gigahertz connection and also a 6 gigahertz connection it does also have a quad core processor in there. It does have a five gigabits connection when it comes to your WAN. It does also have a mesh feature in there. So if you have just more than one Linksys router, you can actually connect to it throughout the home. So you not only have, you don't have to have it just one router itself, but you can actually have multiple routers set throughout the home where you have a very stable and decent connection throughout your house even if you're in your living room, your bedroom, or maybe even out in the yard, you want to have one. It does have a USB 3.0 port connection. So that is a very good feature to have. You don't really have to connect the internet through USB, but if you have such as things like a printer, or maybe you have a large hard drive you share throughout your home, you can also connect that to this router. The only bad sides of this router I do got to say is the parental controls and the cybersecurity on this router are on a bit of the weak side, but you do get what you paid for and the hardware is a bit on the lower end. You can expect to purchase this router for $279.99 USD. Number four is the TP Archer Link 75. This is also a Wi-Fi 6E router. It does also have a tri-band feature, which connects 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and also 6 gigahertz. It does have a 1 gigabit connection for the WAN and four other Ethernet ports. So it, unfortunately, with this router, it doesn't go any anything above 1 gigabits if that really does matter to you and if that does matter if you're looking for at least two and a half gigabits make sure to avoid this router instead but it does give a usb 3.0 port use it as also a media server or maybe a printer server where it does have a great performance for a budget router it doesn't have a multi-port feature as other routers do today the home security is pretty decent on there it's just a really basic plan but you can actually purchase a higher plan for about 5.99 a month it does have parental controls that you can set on there and it does have some basic home security to where it can prevent any malware from spreading the third router i do got to mention is asus's axe 11000 it is one of the first Wi-Fi 6E routers that did come out on the market, and it has really excellent features, especially for what it has. Now, this router is also a tri-band router. It does have 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz that can connect to the router. It has two USB 3.2 ports, and it does also feature a multi-port where it has 2.5 gigabits connection for WAN, and it does also have another port that is one gigabits connection it does have really decent features 
for what this router does offer. In fact, it has so many features, this router, you can customize the RGBs even on the router. It even has a VPN where you can install into the router. It does also feature cybersecurity on there as well. And it does give some great parental controls. It does have an AI mesh feature in there. So if you have more than just one ASUS router, it can also be shared throughout the home. Most routers today that I do mention on this list does have a, it does feature a some sort of routing mesh on there so you can have a much more stable connection. ASUS's AXE 11000 also does feature a quad core processor in there that is 1.8 gigahertz, the one gigabyte of DDR4 RAM and 512 megabytes of flash memory. The only negative side I do gotta say about this router, it is a bit of a monstrosity. It is a very large router, but you can actually purchase this for $399.99 usd today so number two on the list is netgear's nighthawk rax e500 router it is a amazing router it is also beautifully designed it is also a tri-band router so you can have more than three types of connections to this router such as every other one as i mentioned earlier today if you didn't get what i said earlier today it can connect up to 2.4 gigahertz connection 5 gigahertz connection and six gigahertz connection. It does also have a quad core processor in there, 512 megabytes of RAM, and also 512 megabytes of flash storage. It is also a multi-port router where it does have a 2.5 gigabit connection on there for WAN and also a one gigabit connection. It does feature two USB 3.0 uh, uh, ports in there so you can connect not only your media storage you can also create a, a network printer nighthawk is also well renowned and known for its reliable speed only thing i do have to say about this router is it does sometimes drop off every once in a while and that can be a bit annoying because it doesn't really have external antennas such as asus's or a, a tp links routers where you can actually adjust the direction. This router also features Netgear's armor, which is practically just Bitdefender. Bitdefender is an excellent software and one of the best out there where it can prevent malware or any type of cybersecurity issues that can happen when it comes to your router. And also it does have some really decent parental controls on there. It is a bit on the high end. It is $549.99 USD for this type of router. Number one router, and the one that tops them all is ASUS's AXE 16000 router. It is a amazing router. It is incredibly fast as it does have a band feature on there. So you do have the uh, one 2.4 gigahertz connection. You also have 2.5 gigahertz connection and six gigahertz connection that can connect to this router. It does feature a two gigahertz quad core processor two gigabytes of ddr4 ram and 256 megabytes of flash storage it also does feature multi port where it has one 10 gigabit connection one 2.5 gigabit connection and one gigabit connection it does have one usb 3.2 port and one usb 2.0 port they did downgrade one of the ports to usb 2.0 compared to the axe 11000 but that doesn't matter as much as you have better multi-port features on here which does make it a bit more future proof in a sense and it also does feature really great software in there. Unlike Armory Crate, it has some really reliable software on here. Now, AXC 11000 has similar features to that, but it does have AI mesh in this router. It does feature Wi-Fi sharing, where you just scan the QR code from the router itself or the QR code from the app that you download onto your phone to your friends or family that do that does decide to come over your house, you can easily share the Wi-Fi password that way instead of trying to remember the Wi-Fi password because we all know how much of a pain that is instead of just resetting your router. And it also does feature RGBs where you can actually customize it and it has great cybersecurity in there. You can install a VPN network onto the router and you can also create parental controls and customization when it comes to gaming profiles. The only negative side about this router, it is the most expensive one on the list. 
it is 599 usd currently for this router again it is larger and heavier than the axc 11000 so if you don't like the size of the axc 11000 you really won't like the size of the axc 16000 bam bam guys if you like any of these routers or if you're interested in any of them make sure you go down in the description box down below as i have them listed down below also you know everybody else who's interested in it upgrading a router or getting a router make sure you share this video with them if you're not part of the big one of the fan band make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates make sure you follow on my twitter handle right here as it is the same as my tiktok and ig as well so fan band guys what are some of your favorite routers out there that are in the market do you have any of them or do you plan to get any of these routers let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.